listening to PetLifeRadio.com. I'm Smelly the dog. I am a mutt. I'm Smelly the dog. I'm super smiley. I have a cat too sweet to travel kitty. I have a big girlfriend and he's really pretty. I have a pony and we share a big horse. We have a big yard. Yeah, we have to, of course. I have a pool in the summer. I stay cool through a fountain. Live in the mountain. Live high on the hump. Need to be a spokes dog. I'm Smiley the dog. Woof and Super Smiles, welcome to a Super Smiley adventure on Pet Life Radio, the largest pet radio network in the world. I'm Megan Blake with Smiley, our inspiration and adventure guide. And today we're going to World Fest, or we're getting a preview of it so everyone can join us May 20th in Los Angeles for a huge Earth Day festival. It's really, really fun with bands, music, pet adoption, speakers, cooking demos, and the Super Smiley Flash Mob. The event is described as a solar-powered celebration of music, animals, the environment, and humanity. And with us today is the co-producer and entertainment director for World Fest, Billy Hulting. Welcome, Billy. Hey, thanks for having me. Oh, we're so excited that you're here. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm wonderful, and we're going to talk about all the great things going on at World Fest. But first, let's hear the story. Creating an event like this is a massive undertaking, and what each of us have is our time and our energy, and how we spend it determines our life, basically. So, Billy, how did you decide to spend so much of your time working on a wonderful project like this? How did, how did you come to be involved? Well, years ago, the first year it was in Los Angeles was the year 2000, and I went as just a guest and checked everything out, and I really enjoyed the festival, although I could only be there for a short time. And so next year, when I knew it was ramping up again, I had met some people that were worked on World Fest, and I went down to volunteer for it. I ended up starting out as a production manager for the stages, which meant I would deal with the bands and the riders and the gear and all that stuff. And as time went by, I ended up working my way up until they invited me to be co-producer, which was about 2005. It's an Sorry. amazing cause because it involves literally every, I feel like it involves all the good aspects of living on the earth as humans with animals. That's sort of the way I look at it. Is, do you agree with that? That is the perfect way to look at it. <laughs> Over the years, we've managed to add a little bit more dimension to it. We really took on the environmental stuff about five, well, seven years ago, 2005, when I stepped up, my co-producer at the time, Jill Hahn, and I decided we wanted to add more of the environmental stuff. And then a few years later, we added the Healthy Hut as well. So now we have uh, several speaker tents. We've got the Eco Tent, the Healthy Hut, and this year's new, HSUS is sponsoring the Animal Film Pavilion, which is all films about uh, animal issues. That is so cool. There's so many aspects to this. And Smiley is here with me. He's really excited about this event and about hearing more. But first, we're going to take a quick break. Smiley, can you wait? Good boy. And we're going to hear everything. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. I'm Smiley the Dog. I'm Super Smiley. Must rock. Petco. Where the pets go. Petco. Where the pets go. Pet Life Radio has tail wagging, fur flying, fabulous deals for our listeners from Petco. Get $6 off your order of $60 or more and up to 40% off the entire Petco site. That's right. But that's not all. Because you're a Pet Life Radio listener, you'll also get free shipping on your order of $49 or more. $6 off, up to 40% off, and free shipping. From Pet Life Radio and Petco. To get these awesome deals, go to PetcoDeals.com. That's PetcoDeals.com. Petco, where the pets go. Betty White, what's the number one pet radio network in the world? Pet Life Radio. Season Milan, the dog whisperer. What radio network has over 5 million monthly listeners and over 50 pet talk shows? Pet Life Radio. Rachel Ray, where is the best place to reach potential customers if you have a pet business? Pet Life Radio. Put your business in front of over 5 million pet parents with a radio ad on Pet Life Radio, the award-winning number one pet radio network on the planet. Call our sales department today. Toll free at 877-385-8882. That's 877-385-8882. Or email us at sales at PetLifeRadio.com. Steve Wozniak, if Apple was a pet business, where would you advertise your eyelash on Pet Life Radio? 
coast to coast and around the world, it's All Behave with Arden Moore. Find out why cats and dogs do the things they do and get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get great tail-wagging pet tips and have a fur-flying fun time. All Behave with America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Every week on demand, this is the place for a special paparazzi treat, only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. And we're back on a super smiley adventure with Billy Halting, the co-producer and entertainment director of World Fest. LA's Green Compassionate Living Music Festival. Billy, you and I just met a few weeks ago at the Genesis Awards. And of course, Genesis is presented by the Humane Society of the United States. And you just mentioned that they were going to be there. So tell us about World Fest's involvement with HSUS and with the animals. Well, HSUS, as I mentioned before, they are sponsoring and running our new animal film pavilion. And it's going to cover films on everything from the puppy mill issues to saving whales and just about every aspect of animal issues that you could run across on the planet. They do a great job of showing everything from trailers to shorts to the HSUS award winners for different uh, different topics and new shows. It's going to be pretty fascinating to have that, which is adding a whole new dimension to our, our festival. We've had the last couple of years, we've had an eco-tent where we talk about environmental issues, and we've got some great speakers in there this year. Josh and Rebecca Tekel, who uh, your environmental people would know, were the producers of the movie Fuel, and they've got a new movie out coming out now called The Big Fix, which is about the BP oil spill. And there's a whole bunch of other wide-ranging topics on the environment. And will the movies be showing, Billy? I miss that. Are they just going to be talking about it as speakers, or will they be showing some films as well? They're showing mostly films all day. There's a couple of films oh. with Lana talking about some animal issues, but it's mostly films running all day long. Oh, that is in very the- cool. And, and what's the name of that little tent or that venue where people can go over to see the films? called the Animal Film Pavilion. Very, very cool. And you're also going to have some pet adoptions there, right? We do have pet adoptions, yes. We've had that every year, and it's usually very successful. Who's represented there? Are there different rescue groups, or is it one big one? How does that work at your festival? It's a lot of different rescue groups that come in. It's very easy for us to accommodate the rescue groups. So we have a lot of people coming in, and they mostly, I think we just do dogs, cats, and rabbits at World Fest. Yeah, I saw that bunnies are going to be represented as well. That's that's very, very cool. And, of course, Smiley loves that one, Billy. And, Billy, have you had animals in your life? Do you have any pets now? I do. I have uh, two cats. One uh, named Rosie, who was a rescue that came here about three years ago. And then Eliza, who is now 16, she just joined us about a year or so ago. Oh, I love that. And I know Smiley's always leading me on on amazing adventures. Where have your pets led you in your life? Well, I used to joke around that uh, the day that I brought, you know, we saved Rosie from the from the pound, but I think, in fact, she kind of saved me. It was, uh, I've always been a cat lover, but haven't, I've always had roommates that were allergic to cats. And uh, people who don't have pets don't really realize that how deep the personality goes of these animals until you really live with one day in and day out. And it's just amazing to me just how much life and joy she's brought to me, Rosie especially. L- Eliza, a little bit older, more mellow. She mostly stays in Stuart's room, my roommate Stuart, because the Rosie just doesn't like her. <laughs> so, you know, they kind of they have their separate sides of the house, and Rosie's more in my side of the house, so I, I've known her a little bit better. Right. Cats are kind of like that. Haven't you found that? That they either get along and they like cuddle and they lie on top of each other in, in one big cat ball, or they just really never warm up to each other. There's kind of not much of a gray area with cats. Have you found oh. that? I'm sure there's some middle road. I have some friends, a lot of friends that do rescue and fostering for cats, and they have like 18 cats or five or 10. Yeah. And there's always a mixture. There's some that don't like each other, and then some that get along fine, and some that, that are just kind of, you know, nonchalant about their relationships. So. Right. Well, you mentioned how deeply animals touch us, and, and I completely agree with you. I personally, I feel like people who don't have animals in their lives are missing an entire universe. It's not just a little aspect, but animals literally open up an entirely new dimension for our lives. Do you agree with that? I do. And also, there are so many animals out there that need homes. There's just a staggering amount when you look at it. 
and all they just uh, they don't really ask for much and i think the you know the reward to, to both you and them for for sharing your home with them is you're right it's you can't describe it Right. Mackenzie Phillips was on, on my show one time. She's also a very good friend, and she described it very well. Similar, Actually, it was very, very similar to what you said. She said, we rescue them, but really, who rescues who? Isn't that so well said? I imagine most of your crowd that, that listens to your radio show already agrees with that, and the people that don't, they either think we're crazy or it's <laughs> only because they haven't experienced it themselves yet. <laughs> exactly. They need to go to World Best and get adopt an animal and then experience it, right? How about that, Billy? I like that one. <laughs> okay, everybody listening, come to World Best and adopt a pet. Yes. Well, you know what, Billy? This will be my first World Fest, and I am so excited. So what can I expect to see when I get there? When I walk in, what am I going to be looking at? When you first walk in, you'll see the food vendor, the part of the food court. We have a, we're really a food and music festival, so our food court is incredibly popular. A whole range of different restaurants. Billy, let's emphasize to people, it's not just a regular food court. This is like amazing vegan food where people can go try new things. Like really describe to us what the choices are. Well, the choices are everything from Jamaican cuisine to ice cream to the Asian restaurants come. It's all a vegan food court. But the thing that makes us, because we're an environmental animal rights organization, we everything at the festival is vegan. But the majority of the people that show up aren't already, as we say, in the movement. They're people that come by because we have all these bands and there's a lot of information speakers, like 100, over 100 exhibitors, either from organizations or from stores selling items or getting people to, to help out with their cause. And the food court is a, is a huge, it's probably one of the most popular things at World Fest. And I, I can't remember everybody that's going to be there this year, but there's just, a, you can see it all on the website. It's just a tremendous variety and all the food there is great. I can't wait. I am absolutely going to be hanging in the food court for a little bit. And you mentioned the World Fest events website. I did. I saw an army of fun celebrity speakers. Many are actors or media personalities who are very active in the animal community and for the green movement. I saw Deborah Wilson from In Living Color was there, and she is an incredibly passionate speaker. When she speaks, it's like going to one of those old-time revivals, you know, like in the tent. I just love Deborah. Have you heard her speak before, Billy? Yeah, yeah, and she's a very nice, very pleasant woman to work with, and she's, I've talked to her several times, you know, backstage and on the phone and stuff, and she's just a great person all around, and she's incredibly funny. And yes. We also have, you know, Dan is going to be there, who does Bizarro Comics, he's going to speak, and he's a comedian, he's actually on tour right now, doing his comedy tour. And then our main speakers this year are John Sally, who's the NBA basketball star, who's... Oh, uh, fun, who's fun. With the, and he's great, because people really relate to him, he really comes off great on the stage as just a regular guy, and he just has great facts, and he backs it up, and, and people really like him. And as I said, Josh and Rebecca Tickell will also speak on the main stage. We're having our award winners, and different people are coming up. The main stage is really exciting, and then we have more speakers in the other tents. The Healthy Hut is where you mentioned having the cooking demos and sort of those sorts of things like that, and all sorts of issues on your health. There's, just, there's almost too much to talk about what happens in World Fest in a short interview like this. It really is amazing. It's a whole, it's like a little universe right there. On the stage, I also saw you have Alexandra Paul from Baywatch and Tamar Geller. She's a, a big supporter of the Genesis Awards and she's written lots of books. So they're all day long. I just from looking at the website, they're going to be so many interesting people. And the music, tell us about what or who we can hear. Is it going to be playing all day long, the music? There are three stages, actually, with music. The main stage has bands all day long. There's uh, everything. We have, you know, an R&B blues band. We have Conbrio, which is a great kind of acoustic folk. It's hard to describe them. <laughs> They're just, they kind of cross several styles. Floyd and the Flyboys is going to be there. The Turners are going to be there. It's a band made up of a bunch of the guys that I tour with. And we have the closing act that day is going to be a band called The Divine Crime, which is a reggae dub band. So we have a lot of stuff going on there. And the Earth Lounge, which is not too far away, I also have bands going in there. And that's everything from singer-songwriters to rock bands, all bunch of different stuff. So you get quite a variety. And then there's a few musical acts that are really incredible performing in Kids World as well. We call it Kids Kingdom, and that is one of the most exciting and visual places at World Fest. We have a stage with performers on it. We've got an environmental magician that's coming there. We have uh, some singers and some groups. The Sheshabais are going to be there, I guess. They're pretty well known. And then games and face painting and stuff going on all day in Kids Kingdom. That's great. One of the big uh, attractions at World Fest also is we have the Oasis Beer and Wine Garden, and Lagunitas Brewing Company sponsors that. That's right by the main stage. You've got a place you can relax, beer and wine. And I think we're going to do Sangria this year also. 
Oh, that sounds like fun. I like that. I'm going to be making the rounds at every single venue based on what you're saying. I really can't wait. But we're going to take a quick break here. and We're going to talk more about everything that we can experience at World Fest. And you're going to have another guest that day too, Billy. Smiley with this super smiley flash mob. Smiley, can you wait? Oh, it's going to be hard. Good boy. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. I'm smiley gone. Every pet is unique. Maybe they're gray in the muzzle, yet young at heart. Maybe they're growing out of the puppy stage and into their paws and ears. Or maybe they're just trying to maintain a more girlish figure. At PetSmart, we have the right food for your pet at a great value for you. PetSmart. Be better together. Go to PetSmartDeal.com and save up to 30% on awesome gifts for the pets and pet people in your life. Toys, collars, leashes, PetSmart gift cards, treats, and more. Go to PetSmartDeal.com today. P-E-T-S-M-A-R-T-D-E-A-L.com. Love My Pets, the new single by Mark Winter, available on iTunes. When you're looking to add a pet into your life, consider adopting a homeless animal from your local shelter or rescue group. Whether you want a kitten, puppy, or a more mature pet, a purebred or a -a one-of-a-kind mixed breed, even a rabbit or hamster, your shelter has the best selection of animals anywhere, all screened for good health and behavior. PetLifeRadio.com presents Take Me Home with your host, Susan Daffron. Join us each week as we showcase wonderful pets, tell stories, and even throw some pet education into the mix. So get ready to find out why the pet adoption option can be a great way to add a furry companion into your life. Take me home every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. I am Tiffany from Radio Disney. I'm Jasmine from Radio Disney. Jose from Radio Disney. We're here on a Super Smiley Adventure. And we're back on a Super Smiley Adventure with Billy Halting, the co-producer and entertainment director of World Fest. LA's largest Earth Day festival. So, Billy, Smiley and I are super excited about the Super Smiley Flash Mob being invited to World Fest. Thank you so much. Oh, that'll be great. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, we're really excited. And, you know, the mission of Super Smiley Flash Mob is to energize pet adoption. And additionally, Smiley and I have spoken at green festivals about how pet adoption is actually a green act. Would you agree with that? Yes, I would. Yeah, like Smiley says, don't buy new, get a recycled dog or get a hybrid, get a mutt. There's just an unbelievable amount of reasons as to why we all should adopt. And the Flash Mob is going to be a surprise during the day, but we also want to invite people who would like to dance and check out Smiley's page at smileythedog.com. There's a link there where you all can learn the choreography and you can email me for the time. It's really, really easy and the idea is to have fun and shout it out for pet adoption. So don't be shy. Come dance with us. And Billy... We just had, on Pet Life Radio, we just had Johnny Vasek from the Humane Society of the United States on. And um, he's going to be dancing with us. He was giving you all kinds of plugs for World Fest. He's very excited about being there. 
Johnny's the one that's put together the animal film pavilion tent for HSUS, and he's somebody that used to work on World Fest with us years ago. He's a, a tremendous guy. Can't say enough nice things about uh, Johnny, so I, I'm looking forward to seeing him dance. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's a fun guy. I think he's he's going to be really, really good. And um, Billy, once again, you've mentioned you have so many things going on at World Fest. We mentioned the main stage with the bands and speakers and the Earth Lounge, Eco Tent, Healthy Hut. So tell us a little bit more about the Eco Tent. What's going on in there? Well, the Eco Tent, as I mentioned before, we have several big speakers coming in. Uh, that Michelle, who runs our Eco Tent, is very heavily into the environmental movement. Does a lot of stuff with that. This year, she's got uh, Hiroki Higaki, who's doing a thing on Yoko gardening. They're going to show a movie screening of The Big Fix, which is the movie I mentioned about by Josh and Rebecca Tickell. She also has uh, people talking on creating a healthy home. There's a, a whole panel on that. She's got. Uh, different people talking about she's going to have a fashion show, which they call a ration show because it's all recycled stuff. We have, uh, oh, I'm, sorry, I'm looking through here, we have a green body and fashion panelist, and we have several, just a lot of people doing a lot of different great stuff in the eco tent. Right. It's like I mentioned, it's almost every aspect. It feels like it's every aspect of life. You've got clothing, food, cooking, and then I love that you're going to have yoga and meditation demos. Also, are those in the Healthy Hut? Is that where those are going to be? I don't know exactly where those are going to be. Well, you know what I love about your website is that it is extremely, extremely clear. Sometimes when you go to festivals, everything is its kind of hard to navigate, but your website is fantastic. So tell everybody where the website is. Please give the address for people. It's worldfestevents, with an S at the end, dot com worldfestevents.com. One of the other things we're doing this year that's really going to help us is for people who want to get text message alerts, and you can all, while you're listening to this right now, just text WF to the number 55678, and you'll be signed up for our text mobile alert. That's our main alert page. We're not going to spam the hell out of you. <laughs> we'll keep it uh, pretty cool. But at the festival, we're going to have things, these QR codes up. And I, if you don't know what that is, it's like a square kind of weird digital created scanning graphic. And what you'll be able to do at the festival is you can either sign up for text message alerts. So let's say you, you're into the healthy hut. You sign up for text message alert there and you'll get a message 10 minutes before each new speaker or film is going on in the healthy hut. We're going to do that for all of the venues. You'll also have QR codes you can scan that will take you directly to our pages that give you the the roster of what's happening, the schedules of each page. We're also going to have things, uh, you know, enter into online raffles. You'll be able to take our survey through this. So if you don't have a QR code, go check it out. You can get a free one by texting QR to that same number, 55678, or read up about it because a lot of our exhibitors, all of our sponsors are going to have use ex- extensive use of this thing. And it's really going to help enhance the patron's enjoyment of the show. So you don't have to run over to a sign every time you want to know who's playing where. It'll just pop up on your phone if you have a smartphone. And if you have just a regular phone, you'll be able to do it through text messaging also. And it doesn't cost anything. It's just whatever your regular text messaging or data rate plan does. So it's, we don't, it's not like we charge you for this service. It's all done free. It's been donated by Mobile Matters to us. And it's uh, really, you can see more about it on the website. And check that out. But we're trying to make the experience as enjoyable and open ended as we can. A great way to gather more information and all sorts of things. It's going to be a great day. Right. That is a brilliant, brilliant idea, Billy. And I have not ventured into the world of QR codes yet, but I, I'm going to do it with your World Fest because it does sound very, very easy. And we're texting WF255678, right? Yes. And that's such an easy number. I just remember that. And then you also you can text QR to that same number, and that's how you get hooked in with the QR reading. Is that correct? Yes, you'll be taken to a page, and you can it'll see what kind of smartphone you have, whether it's a okay. Android or an iPhone, and it'll help navigate you to a free one to download. That's great because I am looking at your website. I saw that you can have yoga demos, meditation demos, and and I'm really into that. I love that. Smiley and I do yoga and meditation today. I mean, every day we do it together. And then um, cooking demos. I would love to learn more about that. So that's brilliant, brilliant idea. And also, there are going to be over 100 exhibitors there, right? Yes. And that's so much fun because with that many exhibitors, it's, it's literally like walking through this, like the coolest mall in the world because you're outside and everything is eco-friendly and it's just great. 
I bet people just love that. It is. And I think a lot of people come to World Fest. A lot of people come because of the entertainment. Oh, it's an Earth Day festival. I want to get outside. It's in a beautiful park at Woodley Park in Lake Balboa. By the way, Lake Balboa Neighborhood Council is one of our major sponsors. I always want to say thank you to them because they really help. And then there's all these things, not only just like clothing you can buy, but also organizations. And we hear from a lot of people that meet people from an organization at World Fest and they then decide to get involved with. Whether it you know whether it's animal rights or environmentalism or, or some of these health organizations, they're there and people can help find out how they can get involved and they can help make a difference as well. Very very cool. And you mentioned the location; it's so convenient if you live in LA or any of the areas surrounding LA. It's it's sort of a, it's in the northwest corner of the 405 and 101. That's kind of the way I describe the general area. And what is it called? Yeah. Woodley Park is that what it's called? Yeah, Woodley Park. It's one mile west of the 405 freeway. Between Burbank and Victory, Burbank to the south, Victory to the north, it's closer to Victory, but it's easier to find. It's a uh, quick drive. I know sometimes people from the west side think the valley is 100 miles away, but my friend lives in Santa Monica. <laughs> I can get there in 11 minutes, and I live yeah, right by the park. It's so easy. So it's pretty easy access. Yes, and I live way up in Malibu, which is one, one extreme corner of L.A., and it literally, it doesn't take any time at all. You just go over the mountain, and you're right there. That's why I think this is an amazing, amazing venue. And once again, on your website, there's a map. There's directions. Your website, I want to compliment you on that, really. Major thumbs up to that website. It is so easy easy to navigate and everything is so clear. And you mentioned Kids World. Kids World sounds like a lot of fun. Face painting. Have you always had Kids World at World Fest? This year, we're changing it to Kids Kingdom. We're, we Kids gave Kingdom. We've given the makeover. Kids okay. We've always had a great day. About a fifth of the people that come to World Fest are kids. So it's a big, really fun area. And uh, L, our, who's our Kids Kingdom coordinator, has just done an amazing job with it, which the, the talent she's put together and the ideas that her and her whole team have for decorating it and stuff. I think it's going to be a lot of fun this year. That's very fun. And I, I do. Kids Kingdom. I love that. Kids Kingdom. And then, um, oh, also the Super Smiley Flash Mob is going to be making a flash there, too. And when we're there, we're going to be inviting the kids to come up and jump up and jump up with us and dance along all for the pets. So we are, we're just going to be all over that festival. I am really, really excited. And Billy, we talked about where it was. Oh, the admission price. Is there an admission price and parking? What about that? Yes, there is. Parking is free on Woodley Avenue, but it does fill up pretty early. We also have paid parking, which is $5 in the... There's a road leading off of Woodley that heads to the Lake Balboa Golf Course, and we'll have a bunch of people. We've restructured our parking thing, so it'll be a lot smoother than it was last year. You can also... Admission prices, general admission is $9. College students with an ID, seniors, and if you ride your bike there or if you take the metro, it's only $5 to get in. Kids 12 and under are free. If you live in the 91406 zip code, you can get in for free. Just bring some sort of proof of residency, and I think that's, I think that's it. Oh, that's cool. If you live in the 9, say that zip code again. 91406. They get in free. All right. That's very wonderful. More, because of Lake Balboa Neighborhood Council, we're offering a little extra for the people that live in their neighborhood. And also you can get pre-sale tickets online if you want to get them ahead of time. That's always helpful. And it's on from 10.30 to 7, so it's a full-day event. That is so awesome. And, Billy, let me just say all these activities again. There's, there's music, cooking, speakers, food, yoga, meditation, pet adoptions, education, films, a virtual mall of booths, and a flash mob where everybody's invited to dance. Wow. This sounds like you could actually spend a week there. Is there something else we want to talk about? Is there something else you'd like to share with everybody? Well, you know, we're still looking for exhibitors and anybody who wants to volunteer. We can always use help with the festival. And you can find out all that information on our website. That's a great idea. Not only come, but because you started, you went to the festival and then you decided to volunteer. And now you're the co-producer and entertainment coordinator. I love that. What is the most fun part of doing your job? Because your job, it obviously sounds extremely challenging with all the details and making it so wonderful. But, but there's got to be a lot of fun aspects as well. Am I right? Well, we joke around that the most fun part about it is the after party. <laughs> but uh, it is certainly rewarding to be involved with something because our exit surveys show that we are helping people educate themselves in order to you know, make changes in their lives to be more animal and earth friendly and healthy and that sort of thing. And that's what's really rewarding for most of us. That's right. The message of being more animal friendly, more earth friendly. And it's basically just honoring our place on the planet, who we are and where we are, right? Yes. 
Well, Billy, thank you so much for joining us on a super smiley adventure on Pet Life Radio. Remind us of the website again, your website, so everyone can go there. But before I do that, I do have to make one other announcement that we have to do. Unfortunately, pets are not allowed this year due to the health department and other things like that. We unfortunately couldn't pull it off this year. So I just want to make sure everybody knows that who, if you've been there in the past, we did allow pets. We can't this year. But just so right. everybody knows, and we're really sorry about it. It's killing us, but there's no way we could avoid it. WorldFestEvents.com. WorldFestEvents.com. Great. And Billy, I'm glad that you mentioned that about the pets, too. I had a note to mention that, but the animals that are for adoption will be on site, so people can look at the bunnies yes, and the kitties and the dogs, but it's only open for animals, for the ones that are actually there as potential adoptees, right? Yes. And also, we mentioned their websites, and I also want to invite everyone to go to SmileyTheDog.com to learn the Super Smiley Flash Mob and come dance with us. So everyone, come join us at World Fest. This is May 20th, 10.30 to 7 for an all-day festival celebrating the Earth, music, humanity, and animals. Now that is a Super Smiley Adventure. Thank you, Billy Holting, for joining us on a Super Smiley Adventure. Thank you, Megan and Smiley. It's great to be here. And we're looking forward to seeing you at World Fest. Until next time, woof and super smiles. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs>